the era of Internet of Things, the network of physical objects, we looked into Korea's qualitative development in the field of IoT. Korean dads are changing. The patriarchal society is changing and creating a new image of men who are in charge of parenting and housework. We introduce Korea Tour Ture Project and how the local residents are changing the tourism industry. Korean dads are changing. The patriarchal society is changing and creating a new image of men who are in charge of parenting and housework. The age of the Internet of Things, or IoT for short, is on its way. The entire world is looking forward to the future of IoT. Let's see how far Korea's IoT technology has come. Moon Jung Dong Song Pa Gu Seoul. This is Samsung Ramian Gallery a place where people can experience the future smart homes. Here, smart cards are used to control the lighting, curtains, television, and everything else interconnected by IoT. Here is the bathroom, and this is called the smart mirror. So when you brush your, your teeth, you can track the weather and schedule and also headline use. You can check the traffic condition, even you can check your health information. On the other side, you can see the beaded toilet here, which has a sensor. So if you see it on the beaded toilet, this sensor will collect your health information and send this information to this smart meter. Then you can check your biorhythm and also health information through this meter. Even you can send this information to your doctor. You can see the personal message, so you can The Internet of Things refers to the network of physical objects all connected to each other by the Internet. Then, how is it used in our daily lives? Korea's telecommunication industry also began expanding its business to the Internet of Things. This is the office of Korea's largest IoT association, KT Giga IoT Alliance. Over 100 ICT companies from both Korea and overseas are here to demonstrate their IoT technology. KT에서는 지난해부터 KT의 최대 강점인 대내 기가 인터넷 인프라를 바탕으로 올레 기가 홈캠, 올레 기가 홈 피트니스 등의 다양한 스마트 홈 서비스를 선보이고 있습니다. With Ole Giga's IoT Home Manager service, people can use a smartphone app to control home gas system, open sensors, digital door locks, and more. Korea is also actively developing technologies for smart factories. Ulala Lab's core technology is its smart center called Wecon. Wecon collects and analyzes manufacturing plants' data in real time and informs the appropriate supervisors through a smart platform called Wim Factory. MWC 2016, Mobile World Congress, the world's biggest mobile exhibition, opened in Barcelona on February 22nd. Ulala Lab's smart sensor Wecon grabbed the global mobile company's attention as the core IoT technology. 
Due to the increasing prevalence of electronic devices and internet connections worldwide, Gartner predicted the size of the global IoT market to grow from $939 billion in 2014 to over $3 trillion in 2020. So we are seeing exponential rates of growth in the Internet of Things uh, with these developments. Uh, they're very important in healthcare, uh, in the field of energy, in transportation, in housing, and they will become a part of employment and work for ordinary citizens all over the world. Pongyo Techno Valley, the Silicon Valley of Korea. WiseWells is a beacon producer located at the Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation. The company provides the taxi safety beacon service. There's a beacon inside the taxi that automatically sends the license number and the driver's information to the customer's smartphone. With the help of the government, CCEI has actively supported the establishment, commercialization, and globalization of ICT related companies. That is a one star company. When they came here, they had only just the sensors for the IoT. But uh, they developed uh, a little bit further, and now they have a smart factory uh, sensors. So, which is amazing because uh, within just the six months, the global IoT market is growing rapidly. Korea is using its strong ICT base and full government support to spearhead its companies in the IoT market. And with this as their foundation, we hope Korean companies will lead the global IoT market. Among the museums that represent Korea, non-profit private museums are gaining international attention. They hold unique exhibitions and programs to communicate with their visitors. What are they like now, and what will they be like in the future? The Dongdimun Design Plaza, located at Iljuru Junggu, Seoul. There's something here that catches the eye. It's the art exhibitions. Right now, an exhibition called Kansong Mungwa is taking place. It's filled with Korean artworks that depict flowers, birds, insects, and other natural beauties. The exhibition plays the works of famous painters from the late Goryeo and Joseon dynasties. It's attracted much attention from both Koreans and foreigners. This is my first time here, and I think it's amazing that one person could do all this by himself. And I had a great time here. I'm also very fortunate as a visitor to Korea to be able to see this art. I mean, these are um, historical representations of the view of Korea's beauty at that time. The host of this exhibition is Kansong Art Museum. It's Korea's representative private museum, possessing the most and number of national treasures. Thicket under a white old cedar, and walks toward Yongjima. It was established in 1938 by Kang Song-jong Hyung-pil to commemorate his cultural spirit and efforts to collect and preserve Korea's cultural heritage. If you look at other museums, there is a little bit of difference between the purpose of the museum and the purpose of the museum. According to a report, Korea topped the global list for private art museums with the establishment of 45 more during the past 10 years. How did Korea come to own the most number of private museums in the world? 
한인미술관들은 민간 자본에 설립된 분들이 컬렉터들이 많아서 컬, 자신의 가지 컬렉션을 가지고 미술관을 만들었기 때문에 국공립에 비해서 훨씬 더 양질의 컬렉션을 가지고 있어서 살인미술관들이 어, 그 공립에 비해서 더 많이 또 빠른 속도로 증가하고 있는 것으로 저는 판단하고 있습니다. This beautiful place is Ho Am Art Museum in Yongin, Gyeonggi-do Province. It's the largest private museum in Korea and it's famous for its outstanding design and vast collections. There are 2,000 artifacts here. And all the pottery and handcraft collections are recognized for their priceless value. 특별히 저희 미술관의 특징이라고 할수 있는 것들은 좀더 미술을 그 좋은 작품들을 어, 굉장히 좋은 장소에서 사람들이 편하게 보실 수 있도록 전체 디스플레이 같은 경우에 굉장히 많은 신경을 쓰고 있습니다. The Samsung Foundation was established in 1965. And has received positive feedback for its diverse collections displayed at the Hoam Art Museum and Liam, Samsung Museum of Art. It also has artworks that Yi Byung Cho collected for over 30 years. The Sabina Museum in Jongno-gu, Seoul, is another private museum that is just as popular as the Hoam Art Museum. The current exhibition, Insect Eyes, is both fun and educational. Visitors can learn about the principles of photography and printing by looking through different prisms, human eyes, camera lenses, and insect eyes. It has on display 70 artworks, including 30 new photographs. They express the world from different perspectives. 40대, 50대 이상의 중진 작가, 우리 한국 현대 미술의 허리 세대라고 할수 있는 중진 작가를 지속적으로 지원하고 이들이 역량 있는 작가로 더 발돋움할 수 있는 개인전을 통해서 어, 많이 지원을 해왔는데요. 그런 활동들을 통해서 해외에 좀 알릴 수 있는 이런 역할을 하고자 사비나 미술관은 음, 운영을 하고 있습니다. In addition to the exhibitions, the museum also runs free experience programs for children. They are making their own cameras right now. Such programs help the children understand photography and teach them about different ways of looking at the world. 인화효과도 되게 재미있었고 신기했으며 곤충의 눈으로 시선을 볼수 있는 게 되게 재미있었어요. 카메라가 어떻게 이런 원리로 작동하지 해서 되게 재밌고 유익한 시간을 보낸 것 같아요. The Kim Del Jin Art Research and Consulting in Jongno-gu, Seoul. The director Kim Del Jin opened it in 2001, driven by his passion for collecting art. Like this, private museums carry cultural values just as priceless as public museums. 작가 스스로가 자기의 작품을 보여주는 것, 개인 미술관에 대한 그 열망이 있기 때문에 미술관은 당분간 계속 늘어날 것이라고 생각을 합니다. 또 한국 살인 미술관 협회가 있어서 그 협회를 통해서 각 미술관들이 네트워크를 한다든지 공동 목표를 달성하고 어떤 체험 프로그램이든지 이런 것들이 더 활성화되어서 많은 살인 미술관들도 발전할 것이라고 기대하고 있습니다. Korea's private museums are bringing art closer to the public through diverse exhibitions and programs. We hope they can grow into internationally loved and respected institutions in the future. What if local residents could create their own tourism contents? What if they create their own profit model and boost local tourism? These questions were the starting point of Korea's local tourism development project. Let's see what's propelling the success of Tour de Ré project. Located just 50 minutes away from Seoul, Yangpyeonggun is popular for its beautiful scenery and water sports. The sound of children's laughter rings in the air. It wasn't until 2013 that the tourists started coming here in droves after the Tour de Ré project was launched. 
양평 중고등학교에 카노부가 있습니다. 그래서 그 카노부 출신들이 이제 졸업을 하고 나서 특별히 할 부분들이 없었었는데 그분들이 주축이 돼서 카노 체험 관광 컨텐츠를 만든다고 그러면은 양평에 훌륭한 컨텐츠가 될수 있을 거라 생각이 돼서 지원을 하게 되었습니다. The activity-based contents, such as canoes and dragon boats for groups, are bringing in more and more visitors. 지역 주민들이 못 하는 게 광고입니다. 이 광고를 관광 둘레 PD가 해주고 또 둘레에서 멘토를 해줌으로써 저희가 처음에 시작할 때 수입이 첫 해부터 두 번째에는 한 10배 정도 상승을 했습니다. Why did Tour de Ray project begin? Korea's tourism industry reached its peak in 2014 with over 14 million visitors. However, the growth rate has slowed down in recent years. Moreover, the most popular tourist destinations among foreigners are limited to Seoul and Jeju-do Island. Why is that? Who come here have seen Seoul, so when they come back, um, there's a lot of interesting things to do outside of Seoul. So there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of possibilities for repeat visitors and for developing new products in other places in the country. The essence of the Tour de Ray project is voluntary participation of the local residents and creating profit from existing local culture or resources. Launched in August 2013, Tour de Ray is a local tourism development project the tour producer develops contents and the mentor helps the local residents start their own businesses and commercialize them. 현재 29개 지자체에 1,400여 명의 주민들이 참여하고 있습니다. 관광둘의 센터가 더욱 많은 우수 모델들을 육성해서 이러한 사례들이 여러 지자체에 더 확산될 수 있도록 할 예정이고요. 2016년 올해도 한 10개 이내의 지자체에서 관광둘의 사업을 진행하게 됩니다. Iceland was once avoided by tourists because of its volcanic activities. Then, the government created a program that invited the tourists to interact with the local residents at their homes. The travelers got to try homemade meals and learn local crafts. Such efforts successfully transformed Iceland into a popular tourist destination. These types of programs that, that create interaction between visitors and local people and give them an authentic experience um, will provide something special and something memorable. If, if we think about tourism, you're buying an experience. You're not buying a product. Chechon, Chungcheongbukdo province. This city is also popular for its Chungpungho Lake and successful Tour de Ray model. It's been three years since the Tour de Ray project was launched in Gyodong Minghua village. Since 2009, the village has been popular for its murals of folk paintings and tales. Then, the local residents began using them as tourism contents, and popular artists from all over Korea came and completed 100 new murals. Kyodong Minamar를 대표하는 캐릭터 호민이 가순이 용용이가 있는데요. 오시는 분들이 많이 관심을 가져주시고. 준비하는 그긴 시간에 비해서 전국 각지에서 많은 분들이 오시고 계시거든요. Another tour de ray course in Daejeon. Located on a simple country road, Nuri Maul Bread Cafe is the village's first multicultural cafe and community center. At first, it served as a workplace for immigrant women. Then, a consensus formed that just selling organic baked goods wasn't enough to create a buzz. That's when the cafe began selling Vietnamese pho as well. 장준호 멘토로부터 다문화 가정 분들을 이용한 색다른 레시피를 선보여 보자. 아 그래서 이제 베트남 음식을 새롭게 탄생시킨 계기가 되었습니다. 아 이제 그래서 베트남 쌀국수와 반미 샌드위치 그리고 베트남 커피를 Nuri Mao Bread Cafe will attract more tourists with its authentic pho and unique ambience. They hope to see visitors from not only Korea, but also from abroad as well. 
파라가이 관광청의 요청으로 현지의 수원국의 어떤 원조 개발 수요를 조사를 하고 왔는데요. 주민의 삶의 질을 높이고 주민의 혜택을 줄수 있는 그런 수단으로 커뮤니티 중심의 관광 개발을 매우 강력하게 요구하고 있었습니다. 이러한 예를 볼때 관광 두레가 비단 국내의 어떤 성공 모델일 뿐만 아니라 아시아나 아프리카 중남미의 어떤 지역 관광 개발을 활성화할 수 있는 좋은 롤 모델이 될 것으로 확신합니다. The Tour de Ray project focuses on bringing out the true colors and flavors of Korea and developing creative tourism contents. Korea's local tourism development project, Tour de Ray. It paves the way for the brighter future of Korea's local communities and tourism industry. Korean dads are changing. Korea is shifting from a patriarchal society where men earn a living and women do the housework to a society where dads cook and raise children. What's changing Korean men? Korea is a patriarchal society. It had long been common for men to earn a living while women did the housework. However, such practice has become outdated. I'm actually really happy to see that because I think it's important for women to work just as much as men. And so I like to see that, you know, the, the dads stay at home and do the cooking and cleaning that traditionally moms have done in the past. I think they're changing over here. I think that the women are becoming stronger. And I think that the men are not quite so, so strong about the women does this. The latest trend on Korean TV is dads. Many entertainment shows focus on men cooking or interacting with their children. More, 우리 이, 이 시대를 살고 있는 젊은이들이 요구하고 있는 남성상들이 미디어에 반영됐다 이렇게 볼수 있겠습니다. 신즈동 은평구 인 서울. 신종혁 is a stay-at-home dad with a three-year-old son. He says he can become an expert at parenting while taking care of his son all day long. It makes him happy to watch his child grow every day. 제가 회사를 그만두고서 사업을 준비하면서 그 기간 동안에 어, 아이하고 이제 함께하는 시간도 많아지고 어, 뭐 거의 종일 아이랑 함께 있다 보니까 제가 밥도 해서 아이한테 주고 뭐 어, 분유도 타주고 뭐 이런 저런 뭐 기저귀도 갈아주고 활동들을 하다 보니까 어, 육아를 좀 하게 된 계기가 됐습니다. At the center of such changes is the Korean government's policy on encouraging the use of paternity leave. The Ministry of Employment and Labor located inside the government complex joined in the efforts by launching the Father's Month system on October 1, 2014. With the shift in the Korean society came an increase in the number of fathers taking the paternity leave. And that number is expected to grow with the government's consistent support. 남성의 육아 휴직이 이 일가정 양립 문화를 바꿀 수 있는 중요한 수단이 된다라는 것이고요. 그 근저에는 그 육아와 가사의 부담이 여성에게 주로 부담된다라는 인식이 있는데 남성이 어 적게는 두세 달, 많게는 한 1년 정도 육아를 부담함으로써 그런 어떤 여성에게만 부담되는 유, 육아 가사 부담이 전담되는 그런 문화를 바꾸고자 하기 위함입니다. The golden age of dads has arrived in Korea. What do non-Korean men think about this? Gabato Blaze, a father of two from Côte de Louvre, states that he welcomes this change. I think it's very good. Those men who are doing that, like I'm doing right now, it's very good just to help, you know, they are, when they are free, 
It's very important to help the wife so that she can relax also. It's very important. Long Learn Academy, located in Gebo Ro, Gangnam Gu, Seoul. Fathers come here and learn something special. This cooking class for fathers opens once a week. Dads of all ages come to learn the basics of cooking. They are not used to being in the kitchen, but they are all earnest students. 처음에 좀 걱정을 많이 했어요. 칼도 잘안 잡아 보신 분들이 대부분이기 때문에 근데 열정이 주부들보다 더 대단하시고요. 기초 실기부터 칼 잡는 것부터 알려 드리거든요. 그리고 레시피 보는 법을 알려 드리기 때문에 굉장히 실력이 빨리 늘으세요. They still have a long way to go, but they're learning about the rewards of cooking. Fathers in aprons definitely look different from the Korean men of the past. They are still just beginners, but cooking has added some zest to their lives. 집 식구들이 피곤하고 지쳐 있을 때, 또 요즘 여자들이 보니까 그 음식을 정말 만들기 요즘 힘들더라고요. 근데 여기서 배운 것을 가서 한번 실습 실습 겸 해보는 게 좋은 것이라 생각합니다. Korea is falling in love with dads who know how to cook for their family and play with their children. What other positive changes will we see in Korean men in the future?